think I should put on my top. Maybe the breeze get me too much. What is looking all right there with that white there? There's no pre on the beach. Right, here's our spot after that long, that young, long walk. Where you got a fisherman there? Oh, I see, there's the one rock there, and that set of rocks there. So whoever's traveling in between, you better watch out. We're taking you out to the water today. We are going to be using this little shad trace because the reason being why we use this shad trace is we don't want a little bung over here with the with the bait over here. And then what basically happens is is the float hangs here and the bait basically starts hanging like this. So what I want is I want is when I open up the shed and I put this little float inside the shed. In, sorry inside the sardine what then basically happens is the sardine floats straight in the water with the hook exposed beautifully like that and the reason why we want it like that is because shad basically from the tail end they are going to bite from the tail all the time that's why they call them tailors so we're gonna have it set up like this it's been successful so far catching shad and we've basically caught a lot of shad on this channel so we're gonna use our way instead of the old-fashioned way Ah, forgot to put on a bead. After fitting the bead, we can then go ahead and pierce the hook through the tail of the sardine. Hide the float inside, bind it all together, and then we should be ready for our first cast. So the weather is nice and overcast today. We got a couple of one sky spinning over there with some spoons. We got two fishermen over there trying their luck and we got a couple of fishermen on the on the rock as well as you can see over there. So beautiful day today guys, not too hot, not too cold. And what a plus we have for having an overcast day today. I changed up my rod now guys um, I'm using my 10 foot rod because I felt a couple of nibbles on the big rod which we left over there I felt a couple of bites on the big rod but I don't think the hook is good enough to catch whatever is nibbling here the hook is a bit big, I think I'm using a size 4 or size 5 um, big, big gun hook, using a size 4 or 5 big gun hook, um, as I showed you earlier, but I don't think there's big fish biting here. So I brought out the smaller rod so that we can at least see what else is biting here and see what we can take out of the water. It's looking good. Not looking bad at all. Not a lot of people on the beach. That guy over there. Let me see over there. Yeah, that guy over there just joined us. And there's the other high tide angler. And well, yeah. You know, nothing happening here yet, guys. He's a bit dry. So we'll stick around a bit. See what happens. Oh, I can feel something. All they're gonna take is the question. This beach is one of the best beaches I have personally ever seen. Amshlanga Beach for fishing, you know, going for walks on the beach. Overall, a place to exercise and everything. 
I personally feel Amshlanga Beach is very beautiful. It even has a path here up there for when I think it's about three kilometers when you feel like doing a run. You start over there and you finish about three kilometers down, which is past the lighthouse. You'll find another pier over there and further down there is a little path that leads to a little coffee shop if you walk or take a jog down this path in front of on Amshlanga Beach. So like I said in my opinion I think this is one of the most beautiful beaches I've ever seen in my opinion. If you do know of any other beaches hit us a comment leave us with a comment below and tell us what you think about Amshlanga Beach. Am I being biased? The better beaches in Durban but leave a comment guys and let me know what you think oh I, I can feel them I can feel them but they aren't taking I can feel them they are here guys they are here we're gonna get something soon they're biting right here Look at that. They chow in you. We just have to get one out. So we have a little hunch that the shed might be coming out to Joe. Yeah guys, I just had to. Yeah. So <laughs> we have a hunch that the shed might be biting or they might be on the prowl here somewhere. So I'm gonna go back, eh? You're gonna go throw it in there? We have a hunch the shed might be biting because they oh oh we got some activity on the small rod but oh 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 I think we have something here guys might have something here ah no fish on here but definitely were some nibbles yes I was sleeping on it, definitely sleeping on it. Look at that, someone was interested. Somebody was definitely interested there. Anyway, let's just bite up on the big, on the big rod first, before we go in there again. We on. We lost it. Huh? He lost him right in front. No one did took a hit. Hit not really. I never know. Sure, he was real the whole time, but I could see something was there. So guys, they are there. But I'm feeling a bit hungry right now. Lightning McQueen. And we open up for what we have here. A Burovo's roll. <laughs> mm. So after finishing my lunch and giving it a couple of more goals, we decided to call it a day. The weather started changing drastically and we weren't prepared to fish in the rain. So guys, I don't think it was happening for us today. Unfortunately, no fish. We felt little bites here and there. Moved around to some rocky areas and tried our best that we could. But nothing there guys. So, earlier on I mentioned about the beach. Comment if you guys think you are better better looking beaches 
around the Durban area on Yamschlanga because honestly I've just been around here most of the time but that's it for us today guys you know the deal like please comment and subscribe and we'll check in another video with ITAD Anglers thanks for watching guys